Hello animal science students. Today what you're going to be doing is starting your posters. In the front of the classroom there is some poster boards and with that poster boards you're going to go back to your food nutrient lab from yesterday which says you need a title. So the first thing I'd do today is get a po um, put your data up on, or not data, put your tape, uh, your title up onto the poster. Remembering that to follow directions and what your title should be and it's more than just identifying it as a calorie lab. You want to follow the, the kind of the example here. The next thing I'd move into is developing um, your paragraph number three. Wait to put onto the poster paragraph one and two uh, until our lecture on Thursday, but you can start on paragraph three with your hypothesis. Sentences per paragraph should be about three to five. So you're gonna have to add a little bit to your paragraph three and not just the hypothesis. Next up, you can add this to your poster today. You can start adding your procedure and what you did to start to gather your data. So you can put that on the poster also. The next one, creating a bar graph. To do this, I would create a Google Sheets. So in a Google Sheets, um, you should be able to start up a new Google Sheet. And in that new Google Sheet, you should be able to take this data here. So we only need the energy produced. We do not need all this data up here that's gonna be being filled in. We just need how much energy is being produced. Within that, then we should go back to your other one and you should have um, to be able to create a graph. Let's open this up a little bit more. So you can enter probably feed stuff on your own graph wherever you are, your own Google slide, sheets, whatever you want, feed stuff. And then you can list um, feed stuff could be the soybean holes, distiller grains, and so forth as you go on and on. And then here you put your calories. And soybean holes, um, you look at that graph and it looks like soybean holes made a negative 0 0.024 calories. So that's how many calories they made. Then we move over to distiller's grains and we'll just make up a number and say it was 12. Okay, 12 calories. You then can go up here to insert and you can insert a chart. And when you insert your chart, you can start to see that we have somewhat of a calorie calories on this side. And then you got down here our feed stuff. You can start to make that prettier if you would like to. The last thing would be the conclusion. Until you get all the data, you can't really do this one, but you can start. So with this one, I'd put a comment. Start on Wednesday. And if we get all the data, then you can um, finish it. And then this particular one, you have to wait until all your data. Wait until Thursday. That's what we can do today, um, Wednesday in the animal science class and getting started with your lab. So reviewing that, you can get your title on your poster. You can get your background kind of started with paragraph three, but don't put it on the poster. You can get the procedure put on the poster. You can start a Google Sheets to create your graph for the poster. And then you can maybe start up a conclusion, but we'll probably have to wait until Thursday.